Good evening. From CBS News, this is Newsbreak. President Reagan began the first of three days of events connected with the environment. At Maryland's scenic eastern shore, he declared his environmental concern is one of the best-kept secrets of his administration. The Sierra Club called the trip a publicity stunt. The president denied it, adding, I know you don't believe that. In a split vote, the Federal Trade Commission tentatively approved a buyer beware used car rule. Reagan appointees dropped a proposal that would have made dealers reveal known auto defects. The current language provides for a sticker with information such as warranty terms. The Federal Trade Commission also gave its formal approval today to Texaco's takeover of Getty Oil. However, it ordered Texaco to continue to supply crude oil to some former Getty customers in an attempt to satisfy antitrust concerns. Now this. Digel tops, plain antacids. Digel not only consumes heartburn-producing acid, it has the yellow top, relieves gas, too. Digel tops, plain antacids. A British supertanker was hit by two missiles in the Persian Gulf, but the ship sustained only minor damage. It's not certain whether Iran or Iraq was responsible. Around 20 neutral ships have been hit this year in the area. At the annual running of the bulls in Pamplona, Spain, two bulls severely gored a U.S. Army paratrooper running in the event and an Englishman. The men were seriously injured. President Reagan marked the 30th anniversary of the Food for Peace program, calling it one of the greatest humanitarian acts ever performed and saying he would propose a $50 million fund for emergency food needs overseas. The Reagan administration earlier had asked Congress to reduce the program by $100 million in the 1982 budget. I'm Marlene Sanders, CBS News, New York. More news later on this CBS station and on CBS News Nightwatch. This is CBS.